You are watching a master at work. I've been training my whole life for this moment. Are you ready, son? I was born to do this, son. I can't disappoint, son. Decades of preparation. Blood, sweat, and tears. This one is for Ponymaker. This here is my destiny. Pull the power, pull the power, pull the power. Oh! <laughs> oh! Load it up! He blew it up! <laughs> <laughs> so this is a classic case of cable melting uh, due to the fact that we uh, probably didn't think about how many amps this was going to be pulling. Uh, so I don't even know what ampage this was set to, but the cable is certainly still there. I mean, you made it up the hill. Yes. So, I mean, that was your destiny. Um, but we are going to have to replace some cables, but everything else, nothing's burnt out. It's literally just the cable. So once we replace the cable, we'll be back in business and at Rapid TCT. So I'm here with Garrett from the woodshed. Really good to meet you, dude. When I was on the site, I noticed this bunk bed contraption. Uh, and now, now we're here in person, I needed to interview you, but there's so much more. Uh, how did this all begin? Well, I saw another YouTuber did a video where he put a bed on some electric skateboards, you know? I was thinking, well, I have the skill set I can build something that's like similar, but I'd make it actually substantial. Right. Um, Go-kart style. And I was thinking, oh, you know, there's this bunk bed frame that I can use. And I just kind of spiraled from there. That's incredible. And I thought this was going to be an electric motor, but this is a 49cc pedal. Yeah, I drive it to the, to the store. Really? Yeah, I do. Yeah, okay. there's, there's a video on there of me driving it past a cop. Um, and didn't stop me. I've never been pulled over on it. So, yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm dumbstruck with the whole thing, but there's yeah. so much more here. Now we're here in person with some stuff from Fortnite. Um, let's, let's, let's take a trip over here and have a look. Okay. Garrett, I feel like we're in the danger zone here. The more we kind of proceed through your, uh, your stand here, the more dangerous things look. Now this is from Fortnite, of course. Yeah, these are both from Fortnite. Um, so I got, I got, I ported the game models over and, and designed them in Fusion 360. So this is actually, um, you put a, a hobby mo rocket or like a model rocket motor in here and uh, you put a lead in there with an e-fuse. Basically this just will short a battery across that e-fuse and then cause it to fire. And then this is the bandage bazooka from Fortnite as well. <laughs> so it's actually got in here, it's got a built-in air compressor in this compartment here. Wow. Okay. And uh, you can flip it on right here, wait for it to pressurize and then uh, fire shirts up. This is going to be crazy loud though in here, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. so we won't, let's, not, let's not go too crazy with that. What else do we have? Let's have a look at the bunk beds. Okay. How fast does this go? Uh, I've got it up to 35 before. Uh, it's generally about 30, depending on how flat your ground is. So and which yeah. boat is in this? It's a 200cc uh, Predator motor from Harbor Freight. Incredible. And yeah. we've got the Chariot. What's the idea of the Chariot? So the Chariot is actually a gift for William Osmond. It's branded Cat Warehouse, right? So that's his, his brand. I've thought about something that's like small and you could drive around at the event and stuff. It's pulled by a tiger, which is a large cat. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's kind of an, just an intrusive thought, honestly. Let's just talk about the guns real quick. So this is a, a person tracking auto turret. Yeah, it's just, it, it tracks people and shoots them with airsoft BBs. So yeah. And what about the hands? My father-in-law actually messed up his, uh, he messed up his, his tendon in his arm. Right. He had a brace and so he was immobile for a little while. 
So essentially, I just made him this that he could strap onto his brace. Really good work, dude. What, what's your background? Uh, I'm actually a robotic systems engineer, uh, but I also grew up on a farm. So I've got the redneck and I've got the engineer to kind of put them together. Dude, that is incredible. So good to meet yeah. you. Let's get out on this, on the chariot, um, and see where we go. Oh my God, that's fast as well. I love this. Ah. That's so cool. That is so cool. Today's video is sponsored by PCB Way. I'm here with Elaine, and of course Elaine, it's not just PCBs. Yeah, right. It's 3D printing, it's injection molding, in CNC. Yes. What has been most popular for mm. PCB Way at open source? Popular, I think maybe. Batch is one of the... These are so yeah, good. Right. I, 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 I tweeted about this because yeah. I was like, yeah, these are right. amazing. These are so amazing. And you know, if you're looking for a badge and you want it to be certainly slightly different, this is cool. This is yeah. really cool. What's the response been like from the makers at the event? Response? Yeah, what's, what are people really saying? It's, it's, we got good reception here. Yeah. And everyone can hear, it's a good way and you have been Awesome! You have been doing a great job! You know, and me and Simon were so excited and so thrilled to hear this. And we are so proud to you know, attend here and attend this amazing event. And meet you here. Nice Absolutely. To meet you here. It's great to see you, again. To see you again. Um And thanks for continued support of the channel. It's been, it's been fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go! I'm here with William from Ballybox. We've got a really interesting make here. This is the Ballybot here. We have uh, laser cut wooden robots and what they are about is streaming video and having an entry point for kids who are entering into uh, robotics, right? So when you're interested in robots or you want to get them a kit, uh, this is kind of a nice starting point. And it, it comes pre-assembled or as a kit and you can use it to drive around and it's really just like a fun tour. It has a video streaming camera on here. It's controlled over Wi-Fi, so you can get it on a phone or a laptop. And if you want, you can uh, just move around uh, over the internet, right? It has a public website, so you can go online, drive it from anywhere in the world. So this was made using a laser cutter, and it has a couple of interesting techniques in using the laser cutter, especially here with the little slits, right? Sure. So we have these slits along the side of it. And because of that, we are allowed to make it much more flexible than you'd expect. That's cool. And uh, because of that, uh, I'm able to get a very unique design and it's all made out of real wood. That's awesome. So part of the design as well, when we were playing around with these on the, on the first day, they can fall over and self right. Yes. Regarding the process here, how much are these going to be on your Kickstarter? These are going to be at a very low cost. So I'm trying to keep them in the $70 to $80 range. Cool. And I am uh, looking into just optimizing the price of every single part possible. Uh, I've really worked on trying to get it like really safe and intuitive and also easy to build and having the good balance. When I have a valley bot here, it has a, when it falls over, it has the ability to self ride itself because of a low center of balance. Yep. And because of these wheels being just in the right spot, I've adjusted it and really fine tuned it in the frame so that it can move forward and adjust itself. William, thank you so much for talking to me today. Where can we find you online? I know there's a Kickstarter. We're going to put that in the description, but yes. ballybots.com. Yeah, ballybots.com. That's the website. Dude, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Sam. See you again. Take yes. care. Thank you. Cookie Cat 3D Filament is at open source. How's it been going for you? Oh, it's been going amazing, having a great time. Excellent. Now, it's not just filament this time. You've got games. There's, there's some attractions here to bring people in. Talk me through this machine. Uh, so this is a build that Mitch 3D built for us. And the pieces are 3D printed using our cookie cutter software. Of course. And it's interactive. You got to get the pieces in before the time runs out. Otherwise, it explodes in your face which is nice. So what's the 411? What's going on with Cookie Cat? You've got more materials coming out, more colors, and what I'm really excited about, 3D filler print in the UK. My buddy Tim 
he's going to be launching some stuff in the UK shop. Thanks to you guys. Following on from um, from the Sanjay Monomo Rap Rap Festival. And um, I'm really, really excited about that. Yeah, so we got PLA, which is our classic stuff. We have Pet G, ABS, we're adding more colors. And our next uh, material will be TPU, which we're really excited about adding. Tell you what I've got to do. For death racers. Well, you know, and tiny bikes. That's the other and thing. tiny bikes. I yeah. can't wait to get a cookie cat tiny bike on it's, the road. It's about to happen. We're launching it after this event today. But listen, I really want to have a go on that. So I'm oh, just yeah. going to jump onto it now and give it a go. Thank you so much for talking to me, though. Yeah. So this is the cookie catastrophe. Um, let's see what we do here. We've got to hit the start button and then as quickly as we can, we've got to formulate this puzzle together before it blows up. Um, let's, uh, let's give it a go. Ready? In three, two, one, go. All right, off to a good start. Gonna go. Uh, oh my god! You left the hardest piece for last. Sure did. Oh, oh no! Oh, can you believe it? I was right there. That was a shame. That was yeah, a shame. Hey, thank you so much. That was amazing. Oh, well, there you Excellent go. Job. Some you win, some you lose. <laughs> but at least nobody was hurt. Back to the studio. You are watching a master at work.